All right, I just got a package from 533. No idea what it is, but here it is. So, just in case it's hilarious or something, I'm gonna open it on camera. Uh, I think it's... Oh, uh, I'm guessing this is more from Armando than from Heads Up. But it's a cotton muslin swaddle for a little baby Nurk. A big old blanket. Nice. Thanks, guys. You want this? It's up here. There you go. What do you think? Is that what you think? Mm. Mm. Please stop. <laughs> and then it was New Year's Day. We just didn't really feel like doing anything, so we just laid around on the couch all day. Here's Kira, laying on the couch all day. Sicario, made in flight. No tuning, mortified. I've been having this itch to work on cine lifters and build up cine lifting machines. And uh, I think that I knew that later this week I was going to be getting my BGH-1 from Panasonic in the mail as well as my Sony back, so I wanted to start getting some birds ready to start carrying these machines, and what better of a place than to build up my own Sicario. I have had this frame sitting around since pretty much development, so I was excited to finally get it up in the air, get it flying, and oh my goodness, does this thing fly so well. I mean, even just in a little garage test, I mean, it's I can tell that it's locked in, and we got it out later in the week for a video, which went out last Friday. I mean, sick! <laughs> Still kind of hiking out to the spot that I have picked for flying this, and it is muddier than I even thought in the first place. What I don't think people realize when it comes to YouTube videos is just how much effort goes into just the thumbnail. Like, sometimes I put effort in, sometimes I fail to do so. This is one of those days where I'm putting in the effort and it requires a down hike to get to that river. So I'm literally like, trying to get me an expensive camera. It's actually, this is Winston's camera body, so sorry if I drop it in the water. Uh, but we're just going through all this just to get a picture for a thumbnail. It's ridiculous. Whew, here we go. Luckily for once, I wore the right shoes. Oh, snap. I wasn't rolling, but that was uh, definitely a slip. That almost ended badly. <laughs> oh, we're muddy. Freaking thumbnail. <sighs> was it worth it? I don't know. Well, the spot for the thumbnail was very much not worth it. Uh, and now I gotta get back up through it and I'm nervous about <laughs> potentially falling in again. Woo! All right, here we go. I suppose we'll probably have to pull some uh, extra clips for today, but I totally forgot to do any vlogging today. It's, it's a Sunday, so it's nice and chill. Spent most of the day building this guy. It's like a budget build. I think this whole thing costs only 200 bucks or so. So, finally got it together. I was having so much trouble getting the FR Sky Tyrannus X9 Lite, the access version of this, to pair up with the receiver that I brought in here. You can see it way down in there. There was just so much going on with it that just, I totally couldn't understand it, and it took me forever to get it figured out. So, thanks to Joshua Bardwell, as always, for answering my uh, unexpected questions. But, 
I'm really excited about that project because we're gonna give away, I bought a Fat Shark Recon goggles. We've got the $80 free sky radio, $200 drone, goggles, all of that together we're going to give it away as part of like a budget build. Like this is how to build a budget drone in, you know, for whatever. And that's kind of the whole point of what we're trying to do with it. So I'm really excited about it. I did a maiden of it finally here in the garage. I've been filming it all day. It just takes forever to film build videos and uh, it's looking really good. So I'm excited. Hey vlog, somehow or another it's nice enough to have the garage door open right now and it's January 4th, it's crazy. But uh, I just got a package in the mail from Shendrones. Got some new and exciting stuff, uh, both stuff that you would expect and stuff that you wouldn't. So let's get into this. Oh yes. Okay, get rid of all that stuff. First of all, some specially cut down props for the ducted thick. So that thing, this bad boy needs some very specifically cut props to work well. But Andy sent out some uh, cut down props for me to be able to use with the ducted thick. So that's really nice. Then there's this, which is going to be blurred out so you can't see what it is. But this is, uh, I'm super excited about that. Oh. And then finally thing I've been waiting for for a while here. Replacement for my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema, the Panasonic BG-H1. Oh my gosh, it's so light. <laughs> Look at that thing. Dude, it weighs nothing. Like, I can't even tell you. Obviously there's no battery in it, but that's not a problem because there's DC input. And I can just power it right off of that. Only problem with this thing is it probably won't work with Stead XP. So that's something that we're gonna have to deal with. But, oh my gosh, like I can't even describe to you just like how much lighter this is than other cameras that I've played with in the similar category. So I'm really excited. Got all sorts of ports, HDMI, USB-C, mic, input, output, ethernet, all sorts of mounting points. Oh. This is going to be excellent. I'm really excited about that. Cannot wait to get this bad boy mounted up on some drones to get some shots. How good does that look? Oh. This is my first test flights with the Panasonic BGH-1 on the Shendrone Sicario. Just after I finished building the frame, I got the camera in the mail and I absolutely had to get it in the air that day as quickly as possible. Luckily, I managed to get everything perfectly buttoned together just in time for sunset and how good does this look? Enjoy.
Who's there, pups? Who's there? Hey, stay down. Hey, down. You gotta sit down. Uh, happy Tuesday. <laughs> uh uh. They love you. Yeah, they do. All right, so we're doing a live stream right now with uh, Winston's building a Shendron Squirt, and uh, Kira has taken over the live stream right now, thanks to JBL and everything. Let's get it. <laughs> okay, so last week's video was a uh, mystery package from DJI, which you guys loved that title. And it was. It was not clickbait. Like, I swear to you. I got a mystery package, it was from DJI, and you guys made a whole bunch of other implications that I did not intend for you to make, so I'm not clickbait, right? Uh, but yeah, so every week during the weekly vlog, we do comment reads, we go through all of the comments that you guys left on the last video, and we just enjoy kind of seeing what you guys had to say, and then giving you guys a chance to kind of shout out and make some funny jokes. But uh, yeah, this week, not a great vlog, or at least not a lot of content filmed, it was holidays, it was... I'm tired. We d shot a bunch of videos, like we have a bunch of videos this week, but we just didn't get all of the everyday film with the vlogs, and that's okay, because I'm not trying to keep it up, but hey, it is what it is. I'm going to sort this by top comments instead of newest first this time, and the top comment was from NerkFPV. What have I done? <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. DP Schaff says, uh, just realized that this is the last video I'm going to watch in 2020. I don't know if that's a good, is it a good thing? Is that let down? Is that good or bad? I mean, it's 2020, so. <laughs> so, I, be, I mean. The last thing you do in 2020 has to be the best thing that you do in 2020. So it was the best video of 2020. Take Solved. Uh, this year wouldn't be complete without one last clickbait, not clickbait. Thinking maybe goggles or FPV drone. Oh, well. Happy New Year anyway. From uh, It's Darts. DJT2412. So in the previous vlog, I had shown uh, Christmas with my parents. They were hanging out outside, kind of being socially distant. We had like a fire in the background. Dogs are fighting back there. And uh, DJT2412 says, Mate, your parents are probably the most sensible U.S. people that I've seen on YouTube all year. They have a solid plan. Don't believe in taking unnecessary risks. Every country breaks records for COVID deaths and infection needs week. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's... Uh, I'm glad that they are finding a way to stay safe in weird times. So, yeah, absolutely. Alex Schneck, Schneck, Schneck says, uh, so glad I watched this. Never thought of cutting a groove for a flathead. Awesome. Yeah, so we used the uh, Dremel, which Winston just refused to sit on uh, to, cut, to cut out a screw and get a flathead. We'll show you some of the, the sparks flying from that. And not just from our amazing interactions here. You want to read some? All right, who else we got in here so far? Fellow Blasta said, if you're this active in the wintertime, I can't wait to see your output during summer. Does it um, get better or worse? I mean, we were busy in, at tail end of summer, but it's this year's going to be interesting because there's going to be a, a third one in the household. Yeah, there's going to be the little baby boy. And then I also wonder if like I'm more busy being like out filming and stuff. Then I don't know. But it's I'll be COVID, curious. So I, who knows? Ooh, who knows? Wager on how long is it before he brings the kid out to sit around while he flies? Oh, it's gonna be like two weeks. <laughs> the first time Rachel leaves. <laughs> yeah. No, absolutely. We'll put him in a, uh, in a drone and fly him. So yeah, free range chicken RC says taking you out free in the range chicken. <laughs> taking you out in the corner as you enter the straight douche move. But I guess he got his forty five seconds of fame. Uh, love these daily vlogs. Those DJI gifts were amazing. Thanks for the awesome content. Hey, anytime. Absolutely. No, that, yeah, that was, you got taken out there in that it was so sim bad. race. I definitely reported him, and I definitely got a message back from iRacing that said, thanks for your report. We, we've notified the offender of his punishment. Because don't they have, like, licenses you have oh, to yeah, maintain? Oh, yeah, it's a big deal. Yeah. Uh, Oops. Nice. We have uh, Riddy FPV. I don't know if I said that right, but great vlog, man. Not to hype you up but your cine videos were the reason i wanted to get my 107 and get into the industry and next week i'm doing drone and camera work on an independent movie keep going heck yeah man that's awesome, awesome. that 
it's I mean it's always good to be an inspiration to somebody, but it's awesome to see someone going about it a good way too. And when you get there and get going, it's I mean that's anytime you can do something you love for work is it I love it, man. Yeah, so congratulations <laughs> that you're getting to chase your dream. Heck yeah, we gotta take a break. Okay, so we got interrupted because I had to take a pretty important phone call late night at eight o'clock because I'm talking to the other side of the world. So it's like. That we compromised. They were really early. I was really late. Uh, but we'll finish up some of the reads. Winston had to get back to editing. Uh, let's see. So Joe Max. Cool edit. Sadly, I left the hobby. Oh, man. I'm sorry to hear that. But still watch your vids. Hey, I am super stoked to hear that you're still watching even though you're not flying. It's cool to hear that Like people that are not currently interested in FPV are also interested in the content that we're putting out because it's is very drone heavy and I don't want it to always be that way. Like I want to start kind of being able to include more and more people in watching and that's, that's awesome. August Mahendra. Wow. Really an amazing mug. Outstanding calendar. I want to have a calendar like that. I feel like you're being sarcastic, but I love it. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, Euchre. I have family in Indiana and they play tons of Euchre. Blast from the past, man. Love it. Uh, from Pelitheus. Yep. Definitely Indiana. Definitely tons of Euchre. Right on. It's so good. Best video title ever from Mr. Anderson. Nice. I love it. Martin. I came because of Goggles V2, but stayed because of the dogs. Nice. That's the dream. Wills Gledhill. Really enjoying these new daily vlog type videos. Keep up the good nerk. I mean work. Nice. I love it. And we love making these daily vlogs. I, uh... It's it was kind of a little bit of a rough week because of like holidays and all that good stuff. So hopefully we'll get back on pace for the the following week. We uh, today is the first day of the next week's vlog filming today, and we have some really good stuff. Like like just great laughable moments. It's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> Gabe Benninghoff just hanging out and playing euchre when you're from Indiana. <laughs> nice. Mad props. Have you raced a sim in VR? It'll blow your mind. Side note. I wish I was thoughtful as Christian. Yeah, Christian's pretty sweet. Uh, yes, I have raced once in VR. I managed two laps of Road America and almost vomited as I crossed the start-finish line. Like, I literally threw the goggles off my head because I was about to just chuck up in my seat. It was bad. <laughs> so bad. My, bro my, my brother came over and I, we set it up here. Yeah. And, like, literally second lap, I was, like, ready to vomit. It was, I love that vertigo, man. At Pizzi's house that day, I was just like, Ugh. Oh, I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. <laughs> uh, Jake Heisman says, I've had some autofocus issues with my non-Sony lenses while trying to take video on my A7 Mark III. Uh, I have not had any autofocus issues with the Tamron so far, and I have, only, I have played with some Sigma glass that I've had problems with. Um, but it, it kind of depends on what you're shooting and how you're shooting. So, But I'm really loving it so far. <laughs> Kylo, come here, bud. Up. Hey, good boy. No, don't punch me in the face, please. Don't do it. Do you want to read some comments with me? Okay, what do you think about this one right here? Dog licking himself at 240. That's me. You just licked yourself and now you're licking me. God. Kyle, get out of here. Cool. All right. I think that'll do it for uh, these comments here. Let me make sure that I stop this recording before I get sad. So once again, hopefully you don't feel too bad about this subpar vlog this week. We're doing our best. Lots of stuff keeping up in the air at the same time. Uh, like literally on the other side of that couch is all of the stuff that we brought with us to film today. And it was an absurd amount. But we got an absurd amount shot. Like we shot for like, what, six hours and got um, tons of different stuff. So I'm really excited to share it all with you. But sometimes that means the vlog doesn't come first. So thanks everybody for watching. Have a great rest of the week. See you next week. Stay flying.